Have you been watching The Hangout with Michael show for five years, five months, five weeks, or maybe for the last five days, or maybe the last five hours, you have been on a marathon, and you might have stumbled across the work of Michael Loja here on The Hangout with Michael show every Friday. Well, guess what? There are six more opportunities for you to come and ask me questions live every Friday. The last Hangout with Michael show was on January 1st, my annual New Year's Day show. I'm going to stuff you with such great tools and ideas and how you can have a rich, full, delicious 2019. Make sure you join us January 1st. Hey, Captain Obvious, it's the New Year's Day, Day special. January 1st, 9 o'clock on this channel. And I'm here uh, this week with my friend. I'm here in beautiful Victoria, B.C., by the way, west coast of Canada. And not too far from me in Vancouver is John. Good morning, John. Hey, everyone. Yeah, my name's John Inverarity. I'm a certified emotion code, body code practitioner yeah, in Vancouver. And yeah, helping out today, reading some questions, maybe answering some questions on emotion code. Uh, but yeah, it's Q&A day, law of attraction, law of connection, your life purpose. Get your questions in early and we'll get to them. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, we love hearing where everybody's calling from and writing from. And, you know, as we're starting the wind down, it might be a good opportunity for you to give us a shout out and say, Maybe what your favorite episode was or is. Great idea. Or some of you are telling, oh, somebody mocked me the other day. Oh, I love being mocked, by the way. No, I do. Someone said me, sent me a note, and, and, and instead of saying, you know, at, in her, and when she ended the email, she said, love you to Reese's Pieces. Now, yeah. you know they're a super fan yeah. when they're calling me, love me to Reese's Pieces. Although there was a first word missing because it's a three-name word, but I'll go with Reese's Pieces. Good, John. Let's uh, welcome uh, our friends that are joining us. And again, we are here to take your question and answers. I have a piece of paper ready to write down what your question is and ideally give you the inspiration and answer that you can apply right now. When? Right now? When? Right now. During the live show today. John, who is saying what? Well, we got a new name here, Continental Mix. It says, hello, Michael and John, as usual, looking forward to a great show. You know what? I wonder if that's Natasha Paula Samuel, just with a different name. I don't know. I think that a Continental Mix is going to reveal themselves later in the show. Yeah. Don okay. Boehm's here. It says, morning. Morning. Morning, Don Boehm, with a piece of straw in your mouth. Morning. Morning. Yeah. Holly, Holly Pitas. Hi, nice to see you on the countdown. I'm not usually able to attend live, but always enjoy the replay. Holly, okay. watching live. Holly Pitas, you go ahead. You ask a question first, and we'll get to you as soon as we can, in case you have to run along. But we love having you here today. Our friend Elise Shockey has joined us again, and Jennifer Town. And she is in Seattle today, and it's not raining. Okay, who else, John? Uh, Shirley Pierre. Good morning from Montreal. Yay, Montreal. Colleen Teresa McSpirit. Yay, a new season. <laughs> yep. Our friend Pramelia Param. Good morning, bros. Great to see you both this morning. And Janice Pritchard from San Francisco is in the house. Good morning. John, I see a first question. Do you want to take that? Go ahead, please. Jennifer and Towner. It. First question. Getting it in early. Awesome. Okay, my question. I'm going to be buying a condo at a reasonable rate for my aunt. I need to attract abundance so that I get people who want to rent it, and I'm having an art sale tomorrow. Any last minute tips to keep the vibe high? I've been repeating okay. what I want. Okay, I love your question. Again, Jennifer had an opportunity to buy a condo at a really great rate, and she's saying, she, I need to, now, it's, I know it's semantics, but here in the Hangar with Michael show, we're like the Ginsu knife guy. We like to slice and dice. Okay. So you said, I need to attract abundance so I can get people to who want to rent it. Those are two separate vibrations. Now, just a quick little recap here on the Hangout with Michael show. We teach you how to include the vibration of what you desire. And John, there's different ways that help us include the vibration. What are a couple things that would help us do that? Um, uh, no idea. Sorry, I was what if we comments. talked about it? What if we just talked about an ideal renter? said, hmm, here's my, well, first thing first, uh, Jennifer, is do the clarity contrast for your ideal renter. So law of attraction knows what it is. And so you're sending the right vibration. 
And now you have the vibration for your ideal renter. And while doing the exercise, it caused you to include the vibration of an ideal renter. And the only way to attract an ideal renter is to send the vibration of an ideal renter. Sending the vibration of your abundantness will only cause you to attract more abundantness, which is okay, but it's not an ideal renter. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly that what I That was my idea. answer. It sounded like I had more, didn't it? Yeah. It sounded like I had a part three, and I don't. Any last-minute tips to keep the vibration high? Now, an art sale tomorrow. So I want you to include the vibration of an ideal sale. Well, how do you do that? Go back to one that you had. Think about last big sale or the, or the easiest sale. Or what did you like about the guy that bought this and the woman that bought that? And build a list of all the things you like about the ideal sale. And as you're celebrating all the things that you liked about all your ideal sales, you're including the vibration of an ideal sale for your artwork. And the only way to get an ideal sale from your artwork is to include the vibration of an ideal sale. And Law of Attraction doesn't know if you're remembering it or pretending or increasing it or, or creating a bubble or vibrating or visual. It doesn't matter. But the easiest way to include the vibration of something is to observe it or remember it. And in your observation of observing what you're like and cause you to include the vibration of what you like, and then you get more of it. There was a part three after all, wasn't there? Just look at that. Okay, I'm done. I'm having coffee. What's next? Go ahead, please. Yeah, uh, Sylvia Bellini says, Greetings, gentlemen. End of a lovely day here in London. Dark now. Looking forward to a great show. Top fan, Sylvia Bellini. It has a question as well. Okay, go ahead, please. Question. I just can't get over the upset of not having what I want. Any tips? Well, John, let's let's move her let's move her to the emotion code room, please. And how would you answer that? Let's pretend that's an emotion code. Like people don't know why they're calling sometimes. It's not like, hey, I think emotion code is going to fix it. You know what they call? And I'm just I'm exaggerating. My life sucks. It's falling apart. How can you fix it? Well, actually, they don't care how I fix it. Can you fix it? So right now, for Sylvia Bellini, top fan from the UK, John. What kind of emotion code session would be helpful for Sylvia uh, to help her with that? What would you suggest? Yeah, absolutely. So we're combining law of attraction and emotion code. So the best way is to find your, uh, your desire statement or your desire. Yeah. And with emotion code, you'd be asking questions like, okay, is there something blocking me from attracting blank? Uh, something blocking me from having the clarity to, you know, find this. There's yeah. um, all the resources to attract this. Anything standing in the way blocking me? Her beliefs about that. Whatever it Would it be, be safe for me to have everything that I wanted? Would it be okay? Am I worthy? Do I deserve it? I'd also work on all of her anxiety that she's having about not having what she wants to have. Right. And maybe a little pop of creative insecurity in there. Right? So all of those, John, would help her remove those negative trapped emotions that are stopped, that are creating this experience, right? Yeah. 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 So there's something that happened in your past, Sylvia, that that experience stored the emotions. And when it gets triggered, you get upset of not having what you want. And with all due respect, all the therapy in the world will not fix that. Don, cue the magnet. But you know what? Well, emotion code sessions, you know all about it. 9 a.m. Saturdays on the Bro Show. Watch us remove negative trapped emotions that are causing behaviors like Sylvia, and she, you know, it's not working for her. Sylvia, that's what I'd recommend. Now, I think Continental Mix might have just revealed themselves without telling us their name. Tell me who this sounds like. Hello, Michael and John, looking forward to the show. I think you nailed it earlier. It's NPS. Yeah. Yeah. Natasha Paula Samuel, I know her words. Amy Larson Straits also saying hello. A little cloudy and cool in Michigan. Okay. Well, good. Again, we're here for Q&As. What's your question? What's your answer? It could be about anything behind me, my three books. It could be about writing a book. Anything. I don't know. Oh, great question here from Holly. Okay, go ahead. How did you get started with LOA? And how did you make the leap from a traditional job into what you do now? Oh, that's a long story, so I'm going to try to do it in three minutes, beginning right now. 
you know, I grew up kind of on my own. I have a sister six years younger, one seven years older. Guess what? You don't get to hang out with them when you're a kid. So what did I do? I hang out with myself. So I was kind of introverted. And I was also very positive. And I got to see, even when I was young, I got to see a lot of relationships between positive and I was also very overweight. So I managed my whole life without being bullied. So I kept sending the vibration about people being nice to me. And so anyway, all that to say that I understood the relationship between being scared and being negative and attractive negative things, and then being positive, attracting positive things. Couldn't explain it, but I saw that. I thought, uh-oh, I'm, I'm worried about being bullied. It's going to happen. And then it, would, it was like, why is that happening to me? You know. And that's before now what I understand about law of attraction. So that's how I grew up, very positive, avoided negative things, avoided bullies, avoided ne you know, negative situations. I was very protective of my vibration without knowing I was using those words. So then years go by. I moved to Victoria, B.C. I worked for the Canadian government or the B.C. government. I ended up taking some NLP training courses, which I understood about neuro, the brain, linguistics, words. And I loved that. And I was kind of project managing people and so on. So I was learning a lot about human behavior. And I started learning about law of attraction. Uh, and then I was doing law of attraction on, on the weekends. I'd go to coffee shops and bookstores and Starbucks if they'd let me, basements, churches. I'd go anywhere. Two people, ten people, five people, didn't matter. It was like a Tupperware party. I'd go to somebody's house with five people, and they'd say, oh, wow, would you come to my living room? I'd say, if you can get seven people, I'll go. And that's how I built my business. And then eventually, um, I went down to a four-day work week. I took a cut in pay. I worked Monday to Thursday. Friday became my law of attraction day, and I'd go everywhere. I'd go to networking meetings and churches and book clubs and tea parties, wherever there was an audience. Listen, I'd have set up shop on the ferry, BC ferries that they had to let me, or on an airplane. Hello, what a perfect audience. Well, I'm not sure if it's an audience, but they're certainly captive. So I would go anywhere. I would look in the papers to find out who was having a meeting, and they were thinking, oh, our speaker this week is John Smith. And I thought, oh, so I'd call them and say, hey, do you need a speaker? Guess what? They did. So I, I, I grind it without knowing that was the term. What's another term they use? Grinding and... Um, That's it. You nailed it. Yeah, and hustling and stuff like that. I was doing oh, yeah. that. And then I eventually uh, went to see a speaker here in Victoria. He inspired me. I said, oh, I'd love to be a speaker on stage. Although I was doing it in front of like two and three and ten people, I wanted the big show. I said, well, if you had a book, that would be really easy. Cue on the way home. I didn't have a big book. I had an eight-inch binder of information, uh, and then I turned that eight-inch binder into my book, Law of Attraction. I self-published 2,500 copies, sold them within 12 hours of people receiving the email. I updated the book, so the initial book has 100 pages, and then I was missing things. I was missing a chapter on money and a chapter on a relationship and how to teach Law of Attraction to your children. So the initial black copy version doesn't have that. Uh, and then I sold lots on my own. I was starting to do teleclasses with networking marketing companies. I'd hang up the phone. I'd sell 300 in Amazon. The only place you could buy my book was on Amazon. Then I was asked to be in the secret in 2003. I turned it down twice. And meanwhile, I'm selling my book. It's doing pretty well. And then the secret came out in 2006. And um, it exposed the word law of attraction to a lot of people. And there wasn't a lot of books on the Internet. Q2000. Eight, I think, uh, Oprah had the secret people on her show. They mentioned the word law of attraction like 17 times. People went to Amazon. There was very few books. I think mine was the only one with the word law of attraction. And my book went to number three. It stayed there for months. And then it got published in 37 languages. And I rode the wave of the secret without being in the secret. That, my friends, took four minutes to tell you that story. And I created it all. If I was on stage right now, I would hold the award and I would thank myself. I'd like to thank myself for being very deliberate about sending the vibration of what I desired. And in doing so, I made sure that I was including that which I got today. So this here, I decided I was getting this a long time ago. And what folded and orchestrated wasn't done to me or for me. It was done because of me, because I sent the vibration to attract. So I accept this award on behalf of myself. All right. Oh. Hey, yeah, Mike was... McKay says, uh, good morning. It's cold today in Wisconsin. Did you say Mike Kelly McKay? Carson's here. There we go. Mike McKay, I'm scanning, scanning. Good morning, Mike McKay. 
Yeah, we got Kelly Carson here. Is on a break, uh, can't stay long, but super excited to have copies of her new book now. Law of Attraction and Emotion Code made it possible. They did. Look Kelly Carson, that. congratulations. Sig Brown's with us today. Good morning, Sig. Yeah. Jennifer thinks I'm funny. Yeah. They're laughing at me. I think. Okay, yeah, now see. there is, uh, I saw something up here. Eva Cyber. I asked angels for guidance. Any other ways I can do this? I need help with career guidance. Any suggestions? Well, here's how it goes down here on the Hangout with Michael Show. There's nothing that happens to you or for you unless you summon it. And by summon it, it means unless you send the vibration of what you desire. Now, this might challenge your belief about angels and other things that other people believe in. It's okay. Law of Attraction doesn't know that you're talking about angels. But the angels don't make the guidance you do. First, I'm going to, well, I'm going to ask John what kind of emotion code session would be help you to get more clarity. So with the career guidance, I want you to go to my website, hangwithmichael.com. Under the Law of Attraction tab, there's a course. And it's called a new Law of Attraction. And then there's another free course that talks about the clarity through contrast worksheet. And this worksheet will help you get clarity. And the best way to know what you do want with an ideal career, John, is for her to know what she doesn't want. And she probably already knows things that she doesn't want. So this is going to be an easy breezy exercise for you to uncover. Now that you have it, now that you've built the list of what you desire, now your job is to, now see there's nothing outside doing it for you. Now you've decided my ideal career is this list. Now you need to include the vibration of your ideal career. And how do you do that? Well, you can do it through words or macaroni collages or visualizations or praying. Or you decide what your method is. Because the rule is this. Whatever vibration is included within you is what law of attraction will bring to you. Good. I hope that helped. Go to hangoutwithmichael.com, find the law of attraction tab, and scroll down. The very big class is free, and down below is the second one. That's your homework for today, Eva Seibert. And tell me what you heard about that that was helpful. Okay, John, go ahead, please. Uh, Elise Shockey says, what is the best way to choose a person from the audience to do an emotion code demo at a signature presentation? Well, as part of my seven keys to the emotion code uh, a training program, we... Uh, and because John and I have done this so many times, we found different methods. So, uh, John, we didn't build this list together, but let's talk about uh, when we were at the Vancouver Health Show, Vancouver's largest health show. John and I did a massive emotion code presentation with lots of people in the audience. So, John, do you remember how we solicited people there? What did we say? Yeah, pain, chronic pain, pain for years, years and years of pain. Yeah, we don't like six about months my of elbow pain. yesterday pain. No, yeah. because that sometimes that's real muscle pain, right? We want the old stuff. Yeah, chronic and stuff. We just did this. We're looking for a couple of people that were in, that have chronic pain that have had it for a long time. And honestly, the first woman I chose was in the front row because it was easy for her. Yeah. There was no special wand or no intuition. It was like, okay, you're close as you come up, right? And that's how we did it. But John, when we did the presentation in Victoria, we were a little bit more organized. Do you remember what method we used there to get someone to the front of the room? Yeah, so we, when people uh, came into the room initially, uh, at the beginning of the day, uh, we had a big poster at the front um, yeah. on an easel and said, yeah, do you volunteer to have a session today? Put your name down here and, and your symptom, your concern, and then, you know, we might pick you. So we had like, I don't know, there's like 15 names on the, on the board, little pins on pieces of paper, right? And um, yeah, we just picked them off. I think I muscle tested who to pick, but you we really don't need to do that. We muscle tested one to find out who to choose. And then we got to scan the list and then you and I conferred and we said, okay, this one had sore knees for like six years. You know? Yeah. Because we want the come to Jesus moment, to be honest with you. We don't want to do, let's, let's remove money blocks. No. We want the pain. We want long-term chronic pain. Yeah. And our, our, you know, we tell people our goal is to see it reduced. And then I always say my personal goal is to see it removed. And then when I say see it removed, that's the install. Not guaranteed. That's my goal would be to see it removed. So good question, Elise. 
uh, and another thing that I did at a seminar was in Toronto, I, um, the last half hour, there, I noticed two people in lots of pain. They had pillows and they were doing this because I, I used to do it and I noticed it. And I went to both of them and I said, so tell me. And they said, oh, one more said, I could hardly get here today. And it took me a long time to come up the stairs in this hotel. She parked on the wrong side and had to walk upstairs. And she was in a lot of pain. So I thought, you know, note to self, I'm going to help her. And then another woman um, was doing this with her neck all like for three hours. And all I could see, and I thought, I'll be fixing that later. So I kind of paid attention to who I want to work with. So three ways. You can ask chronic pain for a long time. You could get people to fill a little form in when they come to your seminar. And you can sift through them to find out the one that you think you can help the most. Uh, and then you can just scan the room, you know, when people come in. Good. Okay, John, go ahead, please. Yep, yep. Uh, Lisa Woods, hello. I've been watching almost all of your YouTube videos, and I'm finally oh. able to watch you live. Yay. Lisa Woods. Ooh, ooh, thank you. Yeah, Sylvia says, thank you so much for the answer to my question and putting me right. Time to book a few emotion code sessions. Great. Good stuff, CS. I'm just I'm getting caught up to you, John. That's why I haven't said anything. I'm trying to refresh at the same time. Doug Collins, late getting on, been missing. Did you just say Doug Collins? Nope. Okay, I thought he was getting a double shout out. So Doug Collins, you said, good morning, Doug. Lisa Woods, good morning to you. You look like you're in new names. Very nice. Sig Brown, so what is going to happen with all your free Fridays next year? Well, actually, I'm tr I'm busy. Like I'm travel. I have a lot of weekend seminars, which means I'd be traveling on Friday. So I think that's going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to Vietnam for a weekend, and then I'm going to go down to Kuala Lumpur for 10 days. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. That's going to happen in May. So, you know, that's going to be like three Fridays, two or three Fridays. Uh, Janice Pritchard, can you recommend a, a content writer? Well, my, you know, I hate to share her because she's that good. But the woman that does everything for me, everything, all my graphics, all my Kajabi website, all my courses, all the graphics for all the courses, her name is Delilah. So I'm just going to reply to you and give you her contact information. Good. Okay, John, what else, please? Yeah, Tara's here. Tara Goucher says hello. Uh, Carol Backlig is here in the audience. Says good morning, bros. Hey, Carol. Good morning. Amelia Bell says, good morning, bros. Love you guys. You two rock. My favorite show is the Emotion Code Bros show when Michael starts off with being on an airplane. Love that show. Yeah. Salsa Vance joined us. Shari Green. Shari Green. No pain, no gain. And uh, yeah, Eva's saying thank you. So it sounds like she got a good nugget. Our friend Maria from San Francisco is with us. Okay. If I'm yeah, repeating, it's because uh, story of determination. Yeah. Hey, we were right. Yes, Michael, it's me, Natasha Paula Samuel, having problems with my Facebook. Well, you nailed the first time, so yeah. Yeah, so we're here taking questions and answers today. What are you curious about? What is on your mind? Ask me any question about anything. I might not answer, but you can ask. Gonna scroll through, see if we missed anyone. Sig says, send the vibration of your perfect job sale client to get more. I see or tenants. Eva's, Eva's asking a question. Eva's saying, you said the clarity through contrast worksheet. That's right. Here's a three-step formula taken from my book. Step number two, sorry. Um, step number one is where you use that worksheet. Go to my website, hangoutwithmichael.com, click on the Law of Attraction tab, and look for this. I've been practicing Law of Attraction, although there's one before that which says, I'm new to Law of Attraction. I know, you're not, I know you might not think that you're new to Law of Attraction, but you're new to Michael Loge's style, Law of Attraction. And for 30-minute uh, accelerated learning training with the workbook and a video, I promise you, I will teach you stuff that you never that you never thought you never ne didn't know because you didn't know it. Then learn how to do the clarity through contracts worksheet. Then you've identified step one, which is here's what I want. This is my ideal. And then step two, how to give it attention. Step three, allow it. So 
Eva, can you go find that link and sign up within the next five minutes? Let me know that you did it, please. Elise is asking, what is your opinion about Kajabi considering choosing that platform? Okay. I answered that in my email for you this morning, Elise, but I'll say it again. Before Kajabi, real quickly, I spent $300 a month on my email addresses. I spent $150 a month on software programs to run funnels to send people emails and email collectors and all that kind of stuff. I had web hosting. I had to host all my audio files, multiple systems, multiple monthly bills for that. Kajabi handles all of that, so no more. I shut all those accounts down. It's all in Kajabi. Kajabi allows me to upload multiple classes. I've got probably 20 classes in my online school. And out of the thousands of students, I get less than one or two people emailing a week, maybe stuck or something. So it's a really good design system. If anybody is going to use Kajabi, I would rec also recommend Delilah, who I posted, um, I replied to her thing. She's the one that got me, um, got my, well, honestly, she's the one that got me making money using Kajabi. I've got a lot of courses on there, and she's helped me do that. She helped me with the email. She helped me with the text. Uh, if you try to do Kajabi on your own, it'll take you years to master it. So like, like everything else, hire the expert, be nice and concise and clear about what you want, have the expert come in, get it all loaded up, and then you can click and play and do it yourself. Because when I did the Your Life Purpose class, remember those five classes? I went to Kajabi, I did it all myself. I uploaded the classes, I uploaded the edited videos, I did all the five part series, I put the price on it. Like that was a big, that was graduation day for me because I've been watching Delilah do it, so. Good, next question. Uh, what does it mean when you are confused between two things? Like living between New York and living in San Francisco? It's a question from Maria Favitas. Yeah. I don't know, John. What do you think? What does it mean to be confused? Some indecisiveness on that. It's a emotion called indecisiveness, clarity, and um, wishy washy. Hmm? Wishy washy. Wishy washy. Yeah, so write those three down, Maria, and next time we meet. Wishy washy, indecisiveness, uh, creative insecurity for, you know, brain fog or lack of clarity. Yeah. And if you like both, like, you know, what, yeah, we need to know more about uh, what's stopping you from doing both. But Okay, Sasavan from India. My question is how to increase belief or faith. What do you do to get rid of skepticism? John's going to answer this question from an emotion code point of view, and I'm going to answer the question from a law of attraction point of view. And Sasavan, I want you to write this down, a new post in here. Finding proof or evidence reduces doubt. Finding proof or evidence reduces doubt. New, new sentence, reduced doubt increases belief. Reduced doubt increases belief. So that's just fancy little quote from Michael Loge, but it doesn't, doesn't do anything. So now you gotta go out and find proof, find proof, find proof. But, you know, beliefs are usually formed between the ages of one and six or one and seven, and you've had it forever. In Q, Q, John Inverarity. John, what would we do with an emotion code session uh, on this scenario, please? Uh, this one, specifically, I'd probably go heart wall. Clear out the, the, wall, the, the emotions around your heart, blocking that heart, heart wall, absolutely. Blocking all that good love, joy. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Now, when I read the word skepticism, sometimes I think of um, self-abuse, which is negative self-talk, right? So I'd say, you know what, let's just find out your level of self-abuse. And I always like to reframe it to say it really means self-talk, right? What's your le le negative self-talk? Then I yeah. would also do some beliefs about that, you know? Is, is it okay if I felt positive about this goal? No. Is it safe? Am I worthy and deserve it? So, yeah, it's it's... It's a whole little layers of different questions around that. But Sasavan, your question, and I know that you know the answer about that, is start seeking evidence or proof that what you're asking for is starting to manifest for you. And if it's only one item out of the five things that you want, celebrate the one item and 
stop focusing not that you are but people focus that they don't they're not there yet focus where you're at not where you're not focus where you're at not where you're not that's probably very clunky my editor wouldn't like that sentence at all Can rewrite you reword this no i like it that way hey you're getting a shout out from sherry sherry green shout out from sherry Had okay sherry go ahead results. please john go ahead please had an amazing results after a 25 minute session with Michael. Motivation is through the roof. Nice. We love hearing that. Stir it up. Yep. Helena's here. Says Kajabi sounds like a great platform for business owners. Yep, yep. That's right. Our Doug, Doug Collins from Moncton, New Brunswick is using Kajabi. And by the way, Kajabi is the software that I run Hangout with Michael that stores all of my, that has a, I actually have an online school because of Kajabi. Yep. Maria says, okay. Eva signed up, enjoy the day and thank you. There, and... Well, that's action right there. Uh, Eva, could you be a dove? Could you put the link to the class? You never heard me say that before, John? No, I have. Oh, really? Have I said it before live on the air? Oh, yeah. Oh, stop it. I have not. So, Eva, can you go get the link to that class and post it out here for our friends, too? Because you know what they say? I want to know, too. Well, you can. If you've been practicing law of attraction and you're just not working out for you, I'm going to teach you why. That's an extended free 30-minute online course with the workbook using accelerated learning techniques. You cannot not remember 100% of everything I'm going to tell you there. Thank you, Eva. Follow-up question from Sauce of Anne. Yeah, I see that. What do you what do, when, to there's do no... when there's no evidence of all? No evidence at all. So are you having no evidence at all? Or are you giving me a what-if scenario? Because I'll tell you right now, I'm not doing what-if scenarios. If you can honestly say you're not having any evidence, you let me know. If you're playing devil's advocate and wanting to do the what-if scenario, Hashtag, we're not doing that. Let me know if that's applicable to you. There you go. That was a read. Okay. At least signed up for Kajabi this morning, or signed up for the training. So that's great. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, it's, go in and snoop around and see how it all works. And um, good stuff. Uh, new comment here from Turan Ariste. I read Ooh, your book good. long time ago. I saw that too, and oh. I was trying to pronounce it in my head, and you snapped it. Ooh, I read your book long time ago, Law of Attraction. Good morning or afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. We're at 836. We're going to wrap it up in about another four or five minutes. This would be a good time for you. to Maybe there was something that you heard today that was helpful or youthful, or, or maybe you wrote a note down with a little happy face behind it, or you say beside it, say, I love this. I'd like to hear from seven people. What was something that you heard today that was inspiring or helpful or useful or something you see yourself doing or something that sounded like a, what a great idea that was, Michael Loge and John Inverarity? Seven people. Who's going to be first? So, John, tomorrow is a motion code day. Can you uh, let people know what that means and, and how to set uh, and what they need to do to participate? Yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> tomorrow is 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, the Emotion Code Bro Show right back here on this page here, uh, on Michael Lozier's page. And we're doing Emotion Code. So I think it's episode 73 around there. And we're starting a four-part series uh, throughout December on eating and living healthy. So we just finished business series, four-part series right. on helping business owners, entrepreneurs. And now we're moving on to... Uh, eating, living healthy in order to get people all primed up for their New Year's resolutions. Yes. Hey, here, you know one of the things that I like about Law of Attraction? Like when we were working on that business series, you know, we, we were helping a lot of people release blocks and attract more in business. Well, also what happened was my vibration around helping new people get new clients and talking about new clients and talking about referrals, my business kind of went like through the roof this week because I was including the vibration of all of that. So I was noticing that the stuff that we were helping people with referrals, we were helping people with um, you know, leads and opportunities and all of that's coming. 
Nice. So uh, we have some, you know, specific classes uh, that we're going to be working with um, here on the Bro Show, nine o'clock on Saturdays. And I'm looking forward to the eating healthy. Yeah, and living healthy. Eating and living healthy episodes. Living healthy, all about the health. Yep. Lisa Wood says this, focus on where you are, not where you aren't. I really needed to hear this today. Clarity through contrast, my ideal renter. Good stuff. Yeah, I did that. I got a I'm wondering if I should that. do a special class on Kajabi because, you know, Helena's interested, Elise interested, Doug Collins. I bet you Delilah would do that because she would be the one I, you know, don't go look for someone new for Kajabi, honestly. I, I got um, Delilah. I don't know why I'm whispering. She's not listening. She's not in my room. I got her to master the entire Kajabi system, and now she's a Kajabi expert. So She's a hero. Yeah. Isn't that what they call them? Kajabi, Kajabi heroes. Kajabi I have a hero. T-shirt called Kajabi Hero. It only fits from here up. but and They don't give them to everyone. What's that? They don't give them to everyone, just the real no. heroes. It's like when I was in Vancouver with the Brad Sugars event, they gave me um, um, a hockey jersey, a real hockey jersey, yeah. and it has my name on the back. Well, I'll never wear it, ever, but it has my name on the back, and from a distance, it looks like loser, so nobody really wants to, nobody wants to wear it. I know you'd wear it if it didn't have my name on the back. It might. That's it's cool. a Canucks t-shirt, an official Canucks t-shirt. Imagine that. That's hockey, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, John, I think we're wrapping up here. Everybody said what they needed to say. Uh, yes, people are saying yes to Kajabi. Okay, okay. See how inspiration just unfolds. Where did that come from? Yeah. Wait, Jesus, all of a sudden we're doing it. Classroom Kajabi today. Elise fired that one up. He did. Hey, John, thanks for everything today. Uh, we're gonna see you tomorrow. Again, next week, it'll be five shows to the countdown for January 1st. Mark it on your calendar, January 1st, New Year's Day, 9 o'clock Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. And I'm going to be giving you a bunch of, a bunch of like my, my countdown, my top 10 things that you should, could be, should be, would be want to do in 2019. So yeah, you can have a rich, full, delicious, abundant life. My hunch is you're in. John, for people that want to book an emotion code session with you on many subjects, uh, can you tell them, we see your email address, but how does it go down? What do they need to do? They go to your website. What happens then? That is my my website address, aliveandpeer.com. Absolutely. Yeah. Emotion code, body code, heart wall. Uh, go to my site, book a session. There's an online calendar. Really easy to book in. Yeah. Good stuff. That's it. If you want to get a jump start on Sig eating Francis, and make healthy. the jersey into a pillow for your couch. Okay, Sig, you're not getting the point. I really don't want a hockey jersey because I, I never watched a hockey game in my life. And you know what? That was very blasphemous to be a Canadian and not do that. But I lived with it in my house. I mean, I, my dad was a Montreal Canadian fan. We had Montreal Canadian tea towels and coffee mugs and placemats. And maybe that's my disdain for hockey. Give it to your, one of your sisters. What's that? Give, give it to one of your sisters. Yeah, I could do that. Well, only one of them has my last name. Yeah, I'm gonna ask her if she wants that. Probably not. I'll, I'll decide for her. <laughs> okay, John, that was it. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see everybody here next week. And pop in and check out The Bro Show. It's got a different flavor and feel to it other than it's still John and I. The focus is different and it's full of Holy S bomb moments. So join us tomorrow on the Bro Show. See you later, everybody. See you later, everyone.